All right, hello boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Bottom School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through fourth grade social studies. And we're going to be talking about week number 26 part of the curriculum today, which is going to be essentially about patterns of settlement. So we're going to be talking about what, how people settled in Texas, which parts of Texas did they settle in, and what type of settlement pattern was there. Uh, but predominantly speaking, um, there are three major types of settlement patterns all over the world. There is the dispersed, there is the nucleated, and there is the linear. Dispersed um, settlement pattern is a pattern in which homes are built in a scattered terrain. So you're going to see little drops of homes here, homes here, homes here. Uh, in a nucleated fashion, homes are built around a, focus, a focal, focal point. And in a linear fashion, homes are built along lines. Now, these settlement patterns have occurred in the state of Texas over time. Dispersed, nucleated, linear. But beyond these patterns, events have mostly influenced settlement in Texas. So just like many locations around the world, settlement in the state of Texas has been largely influenced by various events. Some of the events that uh, impacted how people were uh, settled in Texas will be the Texas Revolution, how the earlier settlers of Texas came as a result of Spanish missions. However, Anglo-Americans who came from upper United States started to migrate to the United States, to, to Texas, and ultimately outnumbered the, Sp the Spaniards and the Mexicans. And they settled along the coastal lines of Houston. Why? Because they came from the northeast via the Atlantic Ocean and then they came over here. And that makes a lot of sense. During the revolution of Texas from Mexico, Texas was mostly made of Anglo-Americans who settled from San Antonio to the coastal region. So you're going to see lots of settlement around in here. And that's the reason, for the most part, cities like San Antonio, Houston, they are the largest cities in Texas because that's where people came from, came to settle for the most part. There were only three settlements in the province of Texas in 1820, the Nacog Duchies, the San Antonio, the, <laughs> I can't pronounce all the other names over there. So 1820 to 1836 along the coastal regions of Texas. And then as railroads uh, began to be built, railroads were constructed. People started migrating to other parts of Texas as well, like the Fort Worth, like the Dallas and railroads were instrumental to huge economic growth of Texas, and that occurred predominantly after the Civil War. Right after the World War II, after the World War II ended in 1945, manufacturing like uh, quadrupled, quadrupled in Texas, and permanent population increased and urbanization increased as well as a result of it. So what are the major cities that people have settled in Texas? Well, I said Houston, right? Before, San Antonio, Dallas, Austin, those are the major cities. And you can see where they are located over here. Houston is going to be right over here, somewhere there. Uh, San Antonio is here. Fort Worth, Dallas, right over here like that. And Austin, Texas, which is the capital city, is going to be right over here somewhere in there. All right. So um, so go ahead and try to answer a few questions here for me. From the maps above, identify the names of the cities that early settlers in Texas might have been settled in. Well, you're going to see cities like Corpus Christi, Victoria, Houston, Beaumont, okay? So those are the cities that potentially early settlers might have been located in Texas. Uh, and then from the map above, map <laughs> major cities to regions in Texas. So where is Houston going to be located from a regional standpoint? Well, it's going to be located in the coastal, coastal plains, right? What about Dallas? Well, Dallas most likely is going to be located in the central plains, all right? What about El Paso? El Paso is going to be located in the mountains and the bases. So try to do that exercise and put your writings on page number 64. All right, fun read from you from the scriptures, Psalm 103 and verse 11. What direction is heaven located? All right, read the scripture to answer that question right for me. All right, so that's what I've got for you today, boys and girls. Week number 26, thank you for joining me. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. 
I'll be your hero's body And as you study with heroes born I will be your friend So don't you 